It's the Tom Mikey Show. Are you paying attention? Who, me? Hello? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is. Not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon? No. I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. And we appreciate your patronage. Here is a uh, little column that somebody wrote for um, Netscape. Are they still in business? Netscape? Isn't Netscape kind of like um, like a Rambler or Ipana Toothpaste, one of those uh, brand names that kind of went by the boards? Admiral TVs. <laughs> Netscape. No, there's apparently a Netscape.com. It's kind of like Yahoo.com. It's the last remaining uh, part of the Netscape empire. And there's a column on here in the Love and Personals section called The Sex Men Don't Want. This is a great column. And uh, all too true, I think. Written by a woman, I might add, Laura Snyder. And I think um, I think this is very valuable information for women. Uh, sex men don't want. Here it is. What? Is there such a thing as sex men don't want? You bet. Regardless of the persistent myth that guys think any and all sex is a good thing, the truth is, there are some kinds of sex he'd just as soon say no to. Then she lists them. Super clean sex. He doesn't want to be with someone who's too worried about her 300 thread count sheets to have a good time. And surprise, he'd rather stick around after for some snuggling. Oh, come on now, wait a minute. He doesn't want to stick around for snuggling. And maybe an encore. An encore I'll buy in. Although we wouldn't call it an encore. Then make a mad dash for the shower. The bottom line, dudes don't dig girls who don't want to get a little dirty. That, that part I absolutely agree with. Good sex is sloppy. It's sticky. You are oozing fluids. The sheets should be soaked with every possible substance. You know, I was once with a chick who said, um, I swear it's true. Chick who said to me in bed, whatever you do, I, I'm, I'm not making this up. Whatever you do, don't touch my hair. Don't touch my hair? Oh, yeah, there's oil on your fingers and it'll get on my hair and... You're a freak. More kinds of sex men don't want? The kind of sex where you just lie in there. The column says we're pretty sure there is no mention in the Kama Sutra of a position wherein you must lie motionless on your back whilst staring blankly at the ceiling. There's good reason for that. Unenthusiastic loving has zero erotic appeal. Move around, climb on top, be an eager beaver. Yeah, pretend you're having a good time, ladies. At least pretend you're having fun. Don't fake an orgasm, but um, stop watching TV while we're doing you, okay? Please. I hate that when chicks do that, by the way. I really, really do. They just lay there like a stone. I did have this one chick one time. Absolutely true. 
I think you were in the other room when this happened, Dean. I was with a chick. She was a school teacher. And she knows who she is. And um, Dean was in the other room with uh, her friend. This is when I, uh, we were in one of these suites in Seattle, okay? And uh, so I'm in uh, my room and Dean's in the other room. And I'm with this chick. And she uh, is good to go. And I can tell she's like ready to rock. And so literally, uh, just as I'm uh, about to land on the tarmac, just as I'm about to uh, put it to her, first of all, all the lights are on. And she has not taken her T-shirt off. Which is always a red flag, all right? Chicks who leave all the lights on in the room, or even worse, the lights, the TV, the lamp, candles, why, like the the, light, the place is lit up like a stadium, and leaves the T-shirt on. That bad, bad, bad. Anyway, just as I'm about to come in for a landing, here's what she says: "I'll do anything you want, but you know, no man's ever given me an orgasm." <laughs> Oh, 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 really? <laughs> so, you know what, you know, did I take that as a challenge? Absolutely not. I, I said to myself, this will be the best 30 seconds of my day. Why waste time? <laughs> By the way, any time a chick says that to me, I, if you ever say that to a guy, like to, to challenge him or to demoralize him or to emasculate him, believe me, a, a number of us react that way. Okay, fine. I'm just going to pound this one out. <laughs> I'm just going to fire off around here and then I'm going to go. And that's what I did. I'm going to get down there and... uh Start licking, please. You ever with one of those chicks where you're, uh, uh, you know, you're kind of licking and tweaking and everything for like, you know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour, 45 minutes, an hour. Nothing is working. You're starting to taste uh, the, you go from going from the epidermis to the actual uh, dermis. You know what I'm talking about. Too much work. Yeah. Yeah, she was one of those that just uh, would lie there. Mm-hmm. That's what she did. Did absolutely, because she'd never had an orgasm, she had no interest in participating in any way. She knew if she wanted to hang out with me that she was going to have to give it up. So she just uh, kind of, you know, said, okay, do whatever you want. Okay. <laughs> and I did. Other uh, sex men don't want... And I absolutely agree with this one, too. Over-accessorized erotica. He doesn't want to spend 20 minutes trying to get you out of that lacy underwear contraption you've rigged up when it's so much faster ripping off those worn cotton panties that you usually wear. We're all for variety, but he doesn't want to fornicate with a fashion victim. Absolutely true. You know, I really have a problem with those chicks that are obsessed with going to erotica stores. You know, in L.A., we've got the Hustler Hollywood and the Pleasure Chest. These women who are, you know, they can't just have sex. They have to have oils and candles and uh, they have to have um, lingerie with pulleys and gears and uh, hooks of all kinds. And uh, things that glow in the dark and edible panties. And it's like, you know what? Stop. Stop. You know, you're trying too hard. You know, you're not you're not staging Miss Saigon here, okay? All you're doing is having a little sex. That's it. Come on. Uh, that's always a red flag when I see chicks that have got like 8,000 candles. And they've got like incense burners in every room. And the mood has to be just right. And they have to be wearing just the right thing. How about you wear something that has like Velcro so I can just tear it off, okay? Please, stop with all this stuff. Stop, stop, stop. Another kind of sex men don't want. I'm reading from this column by somebody named Laura Snyder. Special occasion sex. Oh, yeah. 
She says, you think the fancy dinners, zillion candles, and smooth soundtrack are romantic ways to make your anniversary more meaningful. But for him, special occasion sex puts too much pressure on him to make the event perfect. He'd just as soon fall into bed with you on a boring old Tuesday. This is so true, and there are so many men who are silent hostages to this stuff. You know, the candlelight dinners on every anniversary, every birthday. And, and then, no doubt, she comes in wearing some of that lingerie she bought at the store with all the pulleys and gears. I mean, stop, 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 stop. Good sex is down and dirty, sloppy and sticky, oozing, wet. Th th that's sex. This stuff is um, ridiculous. And the last kind of sex that she says men don't want, she calls it drill sergeant sex. Uh, Laura Snyder says he loves it when you take control, but he hates it when you're ordering him around. That infamously frail male ego. Oh, stop. No, that's what I'm not going to buy you know. It's easily dinged by your domineering. Be bold, not bossy. You know, I don't agree with that. In fact, ladies, I think you should tell us exactly what to do. Be a goddamn drill sergeant. Well, you know what? The biggest problem is women not telling us what to do and then complaining that we don't know what to do. And women don't just do that with sex. They do it with uh, what they want for their birthday and what restaurant they want to eat at and what kind of clothing that you bought them, which, of course, is in bad taste and is the wrong size. Uh, no matter what you bought, it doesn't matter. That's what they're going to say. Can I take this back? Where's the receipt? Um, you, you know, how about you just start circling things in the newspaper before the holidays? How about you just give us a list? And how about when we're in bed, you say, tweak this, touch this, lick that, bite this, nibble on that. How about you tell us, give us a little road map here, okay? How about you give us a little human GPS? <laughs> Take a right turn at the next corner. You know what I'm saying? Give us some guidance. Tell us. All right. Those are uh, particular kinds of sex men don't want. Men, and I, I totally agree with the concept of the column. It's absolutely true. It, 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 we love to say as men that there is no bad sex, uh, there's no bad pizza, things like that. But the reality is, if you think about it, there are certain kinds of sex we don't want. Now, you may have some ideas of kinds of sex that men don't want. Whether you're a man or a woman, you may have an opinion about this. Are there other kinds of sex that men don't want? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Can you manipulate me into bed? I don't have to. I whip out my wallet. I thought you don't pay for anything. Oh, I wouldn't give you any money. I just show it to you. Oh, you just show it to me. I wouldn't give you a penny. The Tom Likas Tom Show. Likas. Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. All right. What kind of sex do men not want? Marty on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Pretty good. Pity sex. Pity sex. Now, tell us about that. Well, when an ex, like, dumps you or whatnot, and you've been together a while or whatnot, and they still, uh... They still want to have sex with you or they feel bad or whatever. And and so they have sex with you like on on, on uh, what used to be your anniversary or uh, a holiday? Know. Like my situation, I I just got a long-term relationship. We have two kids. She doesn't want nothing to do with me, but she's still sleeping with me. Is she pities you or you're supposed to pity her? No, she pities me. She pities you? Yeah, she feels bad. So she's having sex with you because she feels sorry for you? Yeah. And and you agree to it because men rarely say no to sex. Well, not only that, I, I, I'm i still in love with her. Wow. But you'd rather not have pity sex. Right. Okay. Got it. Thank you for the call. It's Andy on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey, Andy. Kind of sex I can't stand. Sex on the clock. I don't like being rushed. I want it to take as long as it takes. And... You always hear women complaining that dudes don't last long enough. Well, I take a long time, and I can't stand it when I feel pressured by the woman to hurry up and get done. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, because it's like I, I sometimes, I'm almost there. I'll stop myself and hold back to prolong 
the moment. Yeah. And keep it going. And I, I, I figured, you know, they would like that. But I've really experienced a lot of women that are like, no, just just finish. It's almost like they don't say it, but you can kind of see in their face. I wish you'd hurry up. Yeah. And it's a drag. I, you know what? I agree with that. And I've been with women like that. You know, you spend your whole life trying to learn how to um, how to not have an orgasm so quickly. You always hear them saying, I want them to take your time, spend more time. Uh-huh. So I can spend a lot of time, and I enjoy it, mm -hmm. and I want to do that for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a drag. I, couldn't, I can't stand that. I agree with you, Andy. Thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Robert on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you? All right, Robert. Hey, I got this one. It's repetitive sex. Right? You know how it is after you've been in a relationship for a while. And you get home, you have your dinner, you flip through the tube on the TV, both take your showers, whatever, you get into bed, it's the same position, it's the same starting off point, the same get on top and ride away until you're through, and then it's done, you go to sleep, and the next day's exactly the same. Yes. It's awful. That's why there are so many divorces, for God's sake. Well, you know, do something, you know, when I first get home. You know, have a little bit of creativity. You know, spank my ass coming out of the shower something. Just cool the thought on that, Tom. I don't like the morning sex either. You don't like it? You know, there's just something about them. You know, in the morning, at night, there might be a light buzz going on or, you know, the lights are dim. That harsh morning light, I'll tell you. Well, if your wife looks like your wife looks, I guess you'd only want to do it in the dark. No, no, it's only girls, but, you know, nobody looks real great in the morning. <laughs> in many cases, that's true. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Andy on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, what's going on? Not much, Andy. Hey, you know, the type of sex I hate is uh, the hard-to-get sex. You know, you start, you get in the mood, and you start playing around out there, trying to get her in the mood. And she thinks she's playing cute, you know, playing hard to get, and she's just playing hard. And by the time you get it, it's it's along the lines of pity sex. You just like you work so hard for it, the payout's oh. not good enough. You know how many women I've been with who go, okay, if you want to. Yeah, you know, it's it's a pain in the ass. You know, you work you work for an hour to get her in the mood, and by the time she's in the mood and gives in, it's like okay, let's do it. I'm like, no, nah, you know, now I'm tired. I, you know. I worked way too hard for this. You know, there's nothing you can do that, that will pay off that that amount of work. Yeah. You know, and it just sucks. No, I, I've, I've talked on the air about being uh, with a woman who um, had uh, had every sexual experience she ever wanted to have before she met me. Ah, and I thought, that, I, I, thought, I thought that was going to be great, you know, because uh, anything goes. But it didn't yeah. matter what we were going to do. She'd go, you want to do that? All right. I mean, I did it ten years ago, but if you want to do it, you go right ahead. God, I hated that. 1-800-5800-TOM. This is the Tom Likas Show. Yep. From Los Angeles, 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. We're talking about the kinds of sex that men don't want. Craig on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hola, Tomas. Ah, hola, Craig. What do you say, Professor? Uh, not much. I was doing a radio show here, pal. I pose it to you and the class that there is nothing worse than cold fish sex. You know, the kind of girl I'm talking about, the one who lays there, doesn't move, has no... Has no motion, just plays it off as if it's. Yeah. She has no idea what she's doing. I mean, move, breathe, act well, like. She, she's not doing anything. No, just lays it like she like it's her first time almost. And even girls that are virgins that have that it's their first time have better movement than those girls that are just prone and have no moves, have no enjoyment of 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 the whole fact that you're doing something there. If I was into necrophilia, I would have worked in a morgue. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> I've had more than one of those. And, and, and you know, and, and, and honestly, if I wanted that, I, w I, I would have, I would have, girls who are just dead. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know exactly what you're saying. 
And I hate it, too. Melissa, on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hello? Is that a question or a statement? Uh, a statement, actually. Oh, I am hello. a firm believer in the quickie. You're a firm believer in the quickie. And just a quickie F, you know, like, you know, it's, it's really nice to have, like, lay down, make in love, long, dragged out sex. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love that. But, you know, sometimes it's nice to just have a quick F. I mean, sometimes... I agree with you, uh, but, uh, you know, there, there are more women uh, that uh, disagree with you than agree. They want to make it into a big production number. <laughs> See, you know... And they have you know, to have the David Benoit music playing in the background. <laughs> and they have to have the oils and the scents and the incense and the, you know... I really believe women like that don't like sex very much. They just like going to the store. No, honestly, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love, I mean, just the whole long love making. I mean, I've never done the scents and oils and stuff, you know. But I honestly, I'm really about the way I'm down. I really enjoy yeah. it. It's a huge turn on because it's just. It's, well, great. Let's make an appointment. Exactly. It's just. You give have me that five thing. minutes. I'll give you the world. <laughs> exactly. It's just. You know, I want you right here, right now. You bing, bang, boom, you're done. Get dressed and you're on your way. You know what I mean? There's a no little having to cuddle after. Or, you know, I mean, I like doing Oh, that. well, where are chicks like you and guys like us are looking for them? I'll tell you what. <laughs> An hour. Yeah. <laughs> if that's okay with you. No, I have a boyfriend, actually. Ah, uh, well, you know what it is, though. You're 19, you're living in L.A., you have a boyfriend today, and six months from now you'll be on the market again. Uh, hopefully not, but you yeah. never know. I hope not. You know that's how it works. <laughs> no, I got a good guy. Do you ever get those calls from the exes? Hey, how's it going? No. No? I have, I'm Believe it or not, con considering I'll the stuff I'm saying. I only fuck with one other guy besides my boyfriend. So. Another reason to have another boyfriend in six months. <laughs> See, I don't I don't have the need to go and, I mean, I thought about it, I mean, when I was single, I used to be like, oh yeah, I want to go out and just party, and then I looked at all my friends who had slept with more guys than I've kissed, and it just kind of makes me sick. I don't know, I'd rather just have the exclusive. Just because, I don't know, it's really nice. I mean, I've known the guy, like, my whole life, so it really worked out great. Sounds good to me, Melissa. All righty. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Vince on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, hey Tom, I, I got to say, there's nothing worse than inhibited sex. I mean, the kind of girl that won't get into certain positions because she's afraid that, you know, you're going to see some dimples on her butt or whatever. Yeah. And then to, to make it worse, when you're finally done, she grabs the entire comforter off the bed to wrap herself up so she can walk to the bathroom so you won't see her body. Oh, God, I hate that. How about the ones... I? There was a chick I knew with huge breasts, huge, who would not take her bra off. Right, right. I think, she was, was, I think she was afraid, like, her nipples would point south or something and I would see it. <laughs> so she would just have these bras, and I, I, I think I saw her breasts maybe twice or three times. I'm like, if you're going to go there, then just go there, or don't. You know, yes. I mean, uh, if you got to hide, then you're 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 not in the right. Place. How about chicks? Now, here's another uh, another kind of sex I can't stand. Have you ever been with chicks who are constantly complaining about the conditions where you're having sex? So it would be like, could you turn the temperature up in here a little bit? It's so cold. You know what? No one comes back to the pad. It's the bat cave. You know, I mean, I'm always over there. Pat. So if they're complaining, then then, you know, they're complaining about their own house. Oh, they're so good. You don't bring them home at all. Oh, it's the bad cave, Tom. Make and, how about when you're in a relationship? If you uh, yeah. had a... Yeah, I mean... Yeah, absolutely. Then these chicks, are con they're always cold. It's always hot. They're always thirsty. Well, that happens more in the car than in bed. <laughs> oh, well... Uh, <laughs> I think that was the whole inspiration for these dual uh, climate controls here for these new cars coming out. I'm sure your Lexus has that. Yeah, but... Now, come, my, my Lexus does have it, but do I really believe that my side of the car is 72 and her side is 80? Well, you know. Come on. All we care about is the temperature. I mean, there's no wall between the passenger seat and the driver's seat. Uh, how can the temperature be 72 on my side and 80 on her side? you got to play the game with women. Placate them. If they think it's there, then it's there. I mean, I remember when they brought out these uh, 
these intermittent uh, uh, windshield wipers, you know. Yeah. I, I told a girl that uh, it, 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 there's a sensor in the window, and when it gets too misty, that's what causes it to go across. And she bought it. <laughs> Vince, it's all in the cell, Tom. It's in the cell, buddy. I understand. Vince, thank you for the call. Tom Liger Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. All sex is not great sex. There are certain kinds of sex that men just simply don't want. What are those kinds of sex? Do tell us. Let's say hi here to uh, Rob on the Tom Like His Show. Hey, Tom. Rob. How you doing? Okay. All right, listen, Tom. I was calling because I think you sent in the wrong statement. I mean, these guys are laying there. First of all, the goal is is to get laid and to knock your thing out, right, and then finish the job. Well, if she's laying there and she don't want to move, who gives it to? Knock yours out, move that lingerie to the side, move whatever she's wearing, take care of your job, and you're out of there. I mean, who gives a hoot? You bend it over DS, doggy. I, I think a lot of guys, I think a lot of guys just bored by it. it. Most guys won't kick a woman out of bed under any circumstances, but that doesn't mean we like what we're getting. Well, I mean, but you, you, you know, you, you're not at the Mustang Ranch. You're not, you're not going at it. And if you're, and if you're out there hurting, like a lot of the guys that listen to you are, you know, trying to get the like is 101. You need to run up in anything that will let you run up in. Believe it. me, I'm sure. I, I, as I just said, I'm sure that our guys uh, wouldn't turn anything down, no matter what. Well, well I'm I saying you, that doesn't mean that. they like. That doesn't mean they like what they're getting. Well, if you're knocked out, you're sleeping, and I'm trying to work mine. I'm going to knock it out, I'm going to handle it, I'm going to roll over just like you are, and I'm going to be fine with it. I'm going to go to sleep, and I'm going to wake up with that smile, and I'm going to head out that door. I've already knocked her. I ain't got to deal with how she's telling me to move, don't move, don't touch this, don't touch that, uh, bend me this way, oh, that hurts. I, I ain't got to deal with that. I get mine, and I'm on the road. I mean, that's what you teach. Get yours. Yes. Get yours. I mean, get yours and then leave. Oh, I really don't give a rat's ass if you're having an orgasm or not. All I care about is me, me, me. Tom, it's like me, me, me. me. The comment is is they're laying there, they're stiff or whatever. It's me, me, me. We want us, us, us. There we go. All right. Well, thank you for that. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Susan on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Susan. How are you? Do you care? Of course. I'm doing great. Great. Um, I just wanted to call and say that any woman that wants all the romance and all the music and all the oil does not like sex. I totally agree with you. Yeah. Because a woman likes to be pushed up against the wall, shoved against the wall. Are obsessed with cuddling. Uh, no cuddling. Obsessed Can't with it. Done. My husband got Can't we sleep. just cuddle? Can't we cuddle for three or four hours? Those women hate sex. Just admit it, ladies. Your uncle did, diddled you when you were nine or whatever. Something happened. <laughs> you don't like sex. You don't no, like don't. it. <laughs> no, I've been married 17 years, and even though we fight about everything else, the sex, you know, when it lasts too long, you know, it isn't good. <laughs> you need to romance once in a while, but to keep it good and hot, you just got to... I have my older kids watch my younger kids. We just go, close the door, and just bang it out real quick. Now bang it out. <laughs> yes. All right, sounds good to me. That's the way it has to be. I'll talk to you later, Tom. Thank you, Susan. One. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Robert on the Tom Like His Show. We're talking about the kinds of sex men don't want. Hello. So anyway, what I don't like is uh, chicks that are just obnoxiously loud. Just I'm no John Holmes, and uh, I've been banging some of these girls that are like just ah, just going crazy, and to the point where I got to roll off the windows or turn the music louder so my roommate doesn't get all bummed out. I don't mind a little uh, a little talking, a little dialogue, but. It's just out of control. Yeah, when it sounds like a murder's being committed in your apartment, it's gone too far. Yeah, the neighbor's going to be calling the cops. I don't, I don't need that. Yeah. But also, chicks that don't return the oral, too. That's uh, that's no dice. <laughs> yeah, well, that's uh, that's an issue. Uh, no kidding. Well, hey, thanks a lot, brother. Hey, give me a, take me out Detroit style. Detroit style? With a screaming orgasm. All right, here you go. 
One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Uh, this is Johnny on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Hi, right, Johnny. All right. Love your show, man. It's the greatest uh, entertainment right now at three o'clock. Driving home. But my, uh, what I don't like about sex is when a girl breaks up with a guy, you're the next one available, bam, she starts crying while you're doing her. Oh, yes. Have you ever had that? I have had that. That's I, uh, women crying in the middle of sex. What is that all about? <laughs> That's the worst. And I'm not, you know, you know you're not hurting them. Yeah, yeah, they just get emotional. They're thinking like about it. their ex-boyfriend or something. I don't know what it is. Yeah, yeah, all right. Thanks a lot, Tom. Yeah, thank you. That really puts a damper on things when she's crying in the middle of it. Tom like it. What they hundred by eight hundred. Tom. Tom like it. What they hundred by eight hundred eight six six. I used to think that guys should treat women, you know, the way that women think they should be treated. But what a pedestal! Um, yeah. The only and time I put a woman on a pedestal is so I can look up her dress. The Tom like it show. Tom Likas Show, 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Sally on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Love your show. Thank you. Well, I was just calling to let you know that the number one worst thing in sex is rhythm. If, if you haven't got rhythm, forget about it. I found a videotape of uh, my boyfriend with his ex you know, do two or three little strokes, and then she'd stop and have to have a sip of wine. Oh. And you could, tell, you could tell she was not into it. Oh, you got those chicks that have to get up and go to the bathroom in the middle? Oh, or, yeah. How about, and, how, about, how about when Paris Hilton answered the cell phone on her oh, sex tape? Yeah, that, that's pretty bad. You've got to keep up the speed, keep up the rhythm, you know. By the way, anybody who thought Paris Hilton was hot, did anybody think she was hot after watching that tape? I thought she was weak. Very weak. I mean, she just... Uh, talk about women who just sit there. Well, she was drunk, too, or on drugs or something. Well, you know, that's how we get women into bed. It's not unusual. Absolutely. <laughs> no, there's got to be rhythm. I mean, this chick in this videotape, she gets up and she dances around, and no rhythm there either. Oh, boy. So, you've got to be a good dancer. You've got to have good rhythm. That's right. That's the worst. Of course, uh, just imagine the next woman who's going to see you having sex with your fiancé. <laughs> You've got to keep up the speed. Oh, you know? I see. Keep up the speed. Don't, uh, you know, don't get out of rhythm. Yeah, and uh, no getting off the track in the middle. No, you don't need to go to the bathroom. The cat is meowing. Oh, honey, what do you want? Ever been with, ever been with somebody like that who starts worrying about, like, uh, their animals or who's at the front door? Oh, it's worse. They're, they're distracted leave. by every, a truck goes by. Oh, what was that? Well, they leave the dog in the room. Oh. That was fun. The phone rings, and you, you can see they, they're not answering it, but they're itching to answer it. The answer machine comes on? Yeah. That's bad. And, they, and, and the call is usually something like, uh, Hey, honey, um, I, I, it's me. Uh, I hope you're having a good time. I'll be back on this business trip in a couple of days. Yeah, or, or it's uh, <laughs> his, his mother or her, her mother or something like that. That's right. Worse. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, I just thought I'd... Hi, dear. Just checking in with you. You haven't called me in a couple of days. I'm wondering what's going on. Are you, are, are you, are, are you dating somebody? What's going on over there? Uh, call me. Yeah, that ru ruins the whole thing. Yeah, that kind of <laughs> puts a damper on the whole evening. Your father's in the hospital again. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, yeah. Don't even go there. <laughs> exactly. Sally, thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Rudy on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Rudy. Okay, I'll tell you the kind of sex I really hate is the copycat sex where she wants you to recreate some kind of, uh, some kind of fantasy that she's already carried out with some other man. And that just drives me bizarre. Oh, yeah. Hey, you let's know, like, try something. I used to do this with, I used to do this with Edward. Uh, oh, yeah. He used to turn me around and spank me, and then he used to pull my hair. Could you do that? Exactly. Or, or take me to the beach, right? You know, right yeah. on the water or something uh, like. In fact, I know the perfect place. Exactly. I'm always, I'm always worried about women who know the perfect place to have sex in public. Right. You know. It's yeah, like, that scares me. It's like, um, or, or girls that that uh, 
Oh, I love giving. I mean, I don't know if I really want to hear all that. <laughs> what we want is a virgin who can suck the chrome off a trailer hitch. That's what we all want. That's right. <laughs> all right, Rudy, thank you for the call. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com.